Okay, I don't know if you can see this here, but we are at the grocery clearance. We're gonna see what we can find in here. Okay, a quick overview. Yeah. Yeah, we're not too impressed. I mean, there's some things that are really good prices, but we're not gonna buy stuff that's way expired just because it's cheap. We, you know, but I got, you know, I got some good stuff. Maggie found a few things. A few things we had to put back because she liked it and I didn't check those. I mean, some things are like a year out of date. I can go with almost to sell date, but I'm not going to go a year out of date and still the prices aren't that great. But anyway, we haven't gone to the, the where the cold stuff is yet, where the vegetables and stuff are. So we're going to go look at that. Okay, so here's what we got at our grocery clearance place. Again, excuse the dirty pan that's in the background. I didn't move it. We got a watermelon for $2. I think it was $2. Yeah, I think that's the only one I'm questioning about. We got the Boom Chicka Pop for a dollar a bag. We got the sea salt popcorn and then the sweet and salty kettle corn. They've both already been opened. Um, Maggie picked those out. and She picked out some applesauce mixed berry. And that was $1.99. And for her treat, for helping so good, she picked, she had two of these, <laughs> or two, she had two from the container, not two packages, but she picked out some sour, bright octopus gummy, troll gummy candies, or they're octopus. I think they were like a dollar. She picked out two oranges. I don't know how much they were. They weren't very much. She picked out some berry boo cereal that she will only eat the marshmallows out of, but whatever. <laughs> I got two Tony's Creo, um, that, sorry, that was $1.99. Two Tony Creo seasoning for $1.39. I used to could get this at Albertsons. They'd be on sale and they'd be like 99 cents. But we don't have our Albertsons closed and they haven't even had that sale in a while. I got four things that propel. And I got the strawberry. I only picked it up because it was the strawberry, kiwi strawberry. And at the dollar store, they're a dollar. So 69 cents is better. However, they do go on sale at Kroger sometimes for 59 cents so that's not the best deal but i was there so i got it i got two bags of kale big huge bags and they're already chopped up so happy about that and they were a dollar a piece i got some regular pe we usually get turkey pepperoni but i got regular pepperoni for our pizzas they were a dollar 69 that's like two that's like a dollar cheaper than what i usually pay for the aldi brand a dollar for a bag of sweet peppers and it's a little smaller than the Audi bag but it's like a dollar cheaper for that too. I got some grape tomatoes and Maggie likes those so we picked those up and they were a dollar. I don't know what the regular price is on these. I want to say two uh, about $2.99 so that was cheap, a lot cheaper. Uh, some holy guacamole for $1.49. I got three of those. I'm going to freeze them. And I got some Halo Top, and it was $2.25, so that's about a dollar cheaper than Walmart. So I picked that up. I haven't tried the... Oh, yeah, I've tried the Red Velvet before. It's good. They only had, like, three flavors, and two of them were expired, and this one wasn't expired yet. So I went ahead and picked that up. And um, I didn't get more because, like I said, they only had the one flavor that was not expired, and... I mean, like way expired, not just a few days. And um, it was kind of a far drive, so I didn't want, you know, it's going to melt. And then it would refreeze, and you know how it gets really hard when it does that. Anyway, five cucumbers for a dollar. That's a pretty good price. Usually, I, what, they're, they're 33 cents at Winco. They're not as big as those last cucumbers that I bought. The last ones were huge, remember? But they were harder to fit a bunch on the um, dehydrator like that. And then to fit in my... You can see that one in there, how big that is. That's that, that's dehydrated, so you know that cucumber that cucumber's huge. Anyway, and they not a lot fit in the little jars. So anyway, they were five for a dollar. And that's what I got. I don't seems like I'm missing something because our basket was pretty oh, our basket was full because I had a watermelon and a four-year-old in it. So anyway, that's what we got. Okay, so we just got back from our discount grocery store and I don't know. If it was closer to me, definitely I would stop in regularly, like I maybe like I do big lots. But I was iffy on the meat, and only because I didn't have a good time to look at it. It looked a little frostbite, like frost frost was inside. 
so I'm, you know, maybe the meat's good. I don't know. I'm the same way about Aldi meat. I prefer, I'm just going to get my meat at Sam's. It's just, or Sam's or Costco. Usually Costco if I buy it. My husband buys it at Sam's. Um, and I get meat at Tom Thumb and different places like that. But for one thing, it would, it would thaw and then it would have to be freeze again because it is a 40 minute drive for us. Another thing is a lot of things were way expired. We got to go through a curtain. That was the best part, wasn't it? And it looked like it was raining. It, it kind of looked like it was raining on us there for a minute. I'll show you that at the end. <laughs> that was pretty cute, Maggie. Anyway, um, the, the, guac, the only thing I got that was expired that I picked um, was the guacamole. It was... It actually, it, 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 it's sell by date state. It's not the same thing as expired. I understand that. So I was okay with that because I can freeze it. There's no way I'm going to eat it all within the next week. So I'll freeze it. And I'm like, I'm okay with that. But the, um, let me turn Thomas down a little bit. But things like, um, I know it's rice, but still the rice was expired like, April of, or, I might be wrong, it was expired way in 2017. I'm not going to go back that far. I'm just not going to do it. I don't care how cheap something is. I'm not going to buy bad food just because it's cheap. However, here's the thing. I don't even know why I said however because it's not like that. Some of the prices were no better than Aldi. Like I can get way in date, you know, food that's way, you know, the sell by dates way away at Aldi for close to the same price, maybe a little bit more. And it's just not the minute, minute, minute brand or whatever, the rice, it's just not a brand name. And I'm okay, I like Aldi's brand. So I'm okay with that. Now, I'm not going to buy, um, I'm not going to come out of my way to buy expired food is what I'm saying, when it's not, the price isn't that big of a difference. Now, so we did get some Boom Chicka Pop. That seems to be a big thing because I've seen that on a couple of hauls from different discount places. Boom Chicka Pop was a dollar. So we got two bags of that. And I'll show you, of course, I'll do my haul later. Um, but the holy guacamole, it expires. Its sell-by date is the 30th, which is either today or yesterday. I don't remember. I think it's today. I'm okay with that. I mean, there are six minis in here. And these are my staple for my keto diet. I bought three of these because it can freeze. And, and um, I'll eat it fast because I have so much. And I probably would have bought yeah, more. But I'm going to see how it goes. We did get some Sour Patch gummies that are shaped like octopus. Can I have some? I will give you some more minutes. She was so good, she got to pick out some candy. She did have to, I, have, I had to talk sternly a couple of times, but that's four year old. Yeah, it's very exciting. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, that was my commentary here. I'm okay with you know, driving out here, I had to do it to see what it was like, and I may do it again, you know, if I want to bring my aunt or somebody out with me. Um, if I need a lot of produce, I would definitely come out here, but I just bought a bunch. But I did buy two big old bags of kale. That is a nice yellow car. <laughs> She's so silly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, and I will show you the really cool curtain that we got to walk through. <laughs> Okay, you see that really cool curtain? I wish I could get somebody walking through it. Because I can't get somebody walking through it. Can you see it? It's like one of those things to keep the air in. There was one there, and then there was one going into the produce section. And she thought that was cool. I hope you can see that. She was very impressed with the curtain. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching.